Hey Zip, happy 50th bro. Welcome to the 50th floor. It's a lot of fun up here. Um, before you start saying something about my hair, I noticed in Facebook that you were in your baseball cap quite a bit. So I imagine that you're as sparse up on top as I am. So I want to hear any shit from you. Um, it is Todd Battaglia, by the way, in case you don't know when recognize me with the weight and the hair loss. But I'm still here. I um, I thought about what I can uh, toast toast you for, and, and I realized there weren't many stories that I could tell legally that wouldn't get us in trouble still 25 years later, 30 years later. Um, and probably with family there, I don't want to get us in trouble either. So all I will, all I will mention is um, probably the most appropriate story is the first time we met. Uh, if you recall, it was freshman year, the first week of school, and uh, I had a football game the next day. It was a Friday night, and around 2 o'clock in the morning, I just couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning. Finally, I couldn't take it. I heard a racket down the hallway. I got up, walked down the hallway, and there you were in the middle of a party in your room with 30 co-eds screaming, yelling, having a great time, music blasting, beer flowing, and God knows what else. And there you were smiling with that big grin ear to ear and that star of David hanging off your neck. I, being from the west side of Rochester, I highly Italian Catholic neighborhood, I never even knew a Jewish person. And I wanted to, I, I didn't like you right away. And I, 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 we didn't even have a bagel shop in Rochester. So it was an interesting first meeting, an introduction to the Jewish faith as you being their, uh, their spokesperson. And it was uh, an interesting evening. Uh, I, I tried to shut the party down, and you spent the next two or three hours convincing me to drink six beers and God knows how many shots. You immediately told me, Bataglia, I have a friend named Zavaglia, and I thought you were full of shit. And uh, I found out that you weren't full of shit, that most of the stories you told me from high school were true. And uh, I will say to those in the audience that heard stories about Brad and I in college that seem unreal i'm here to tell you that they're pretty much true so uh i've been there and, and i understand what the feeling's like and and i found out that brad doesn't lie about the past um the odd thing is as the as the night went on i started the night wanting to kill you and i ended the night realizing that um you're really my brother and as i was stumbling back to my room that night drunk um i had no idea we were starting a, a long-term friendship that would last us a lifetime and i know if if i ever needed anything if i ever got in uh, uh in trouble all i had to make is one phone call and you'd be there for me and uh, that's what friendship's all about buddy the last thing I, I will mention uh the one other story is when we decided we couldn't figure out who was smarter than the other guy and we decided to take three classes one semester and see who could pass all three classes by uh, going to as few classes as possible. And it was a dead, dead heat, and we passed all three classes, and each of us only attended a total of three classes the whole semester. So it was a tie, but I conceded because I know no other man that could take two classes that met at the same time on the same days not go to either one and pass them both. So congratulations, buddy. You are, by default, smarter than me. Um, I will go down knowing I'm a better kisser and I have much bluer eyes. But I love you, buddy. Happy birthday.